Probably a regular Twitch emote. I'm here, but I need to be in the restaurant. Next main mission. Oh, now you want to talk? Guess not. I didn't think I'd be showering in urine ever again after you fixed the WMD, but it seems the golden showers won't dry up anytime soon. It's the ascent. It's a new game from a new studio called Neon Giant. Apparently, it's their debut, and this in their 11-person team. It's kind of like uh, Cyberpunk Diablo with guns. So, yeah. So I'm here. The kidnappers didn't just grab any random hammer when they came reading. Instead, they managed to kidnap almost every key alpha and beta level in that in the cluster. The very people we need to keep this place running. With CorpSec disintegrating, I currently have zero access to the security systems. So I don't have a fucking clue where our havers are, who took them, or why! Yeah, I'm not going into Cyberpunk 2077 until at least 1.3. Then we'll see. If someone wanted to cripple our cluster, they couldn't have done a better job. I need you to get these people back. Not for their sake, but for ours. You're gonna need help infiltrating the security systems, and I might have a lead for you. There's a quiche, yeah, I know, but he's a mean ice cracker, a real net sage. I've employed his services once before. Unfortunately, it didn't end well, and I... I might have screwed him over. Great. Needless to say, <clears throat> he's not accepting my pings, so it's gonna have to be face to face, and I'm done leaving the office. <laughs> I've learned that he set up shop in Black Lake Tower. Black Lake. That's what I have. Cost me a good sum. What more do you want to know? Onyx Void? What don't you already know? They're the most powerful syndicate in the common, and definitely here on Bellis. I wouldn't go up against them if we had choice, but we don't. And if we don't get those havers back, our cluster is doomed. Alpha and beta level indents? There are countless narcissistic bullshitters like me, and even more brawny quiet types like you around. We're expendable. But the Alphas and Betas are the Hydroponic Overseers, the Medicals, the Code Jockeys, oh, the Reactor nice. Bosses and the like. Without them we're voided, to put it mildly. Unless you happen to know how to operate a Class 4 Tokamak or regulate protein growth. A Class 4 Tokamak. Okay, yeah, we need them back. Yeah, I know it's abandoned. And no, I don't know how to find it. That's why I'm asking you to do it, fuck brains! Okay, okay. Go get him. Yeah, I've, I'm still keeping up to date with ICE. Um, ICE, Intrusion Countermeasures Electronics, is security software put in place to prevent hostile hacking attempts. It comes in many forms and different complexity. When attempting to override locks in the world, it might require a cyber deck capable of breaking said ICE. If an enemy hacker sets out to hack you, bring up your cyber deck quickly to deploy black ICE to counter and send them a happy surprise. Yeah, I'm keeping up to date with the Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077 updates, and so far, I'm still waiting. Coder's Cove. It's in... Black Lake. So, anything in rooftops, gratitude, or nitro... night road... Wait, Balls Deep is in the Warrens. Don't want to go there now. That is in Black Lake Towers. Go to the node in the Warrens. 
That's kind of high level. The restricted area of the morgue. We can try and do that. I'm not sure I have the ice to do that, but let's give it a try. Um, cyber deck to do that. Oh, okay. Let's steal all the stuff. Okay, we've got bad guys. What's the mission? Search the morgue. Someone lost a body. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, I blew up some people to get into the morgue. Tumerian Sodor. Sapiens. Intracranial hematoma caused by critical levels of Ovidium 348, informed by a choice farmer. Body, body, body. Volatile? What the hell did I pick up? Oh, why am I using this? Corporate grab teams. Corporate warfare professionals, these skilled mercenaries are best avoided unless you come prepared for a tough fight. Corporations employ them to acquire rival property and they are equipped to deal with every conceivable kind of threat. Any more nesties? Ruslan Alkrag, customer service provider Jachlan. Intracranial hematoma caused by critical levels of Ovidium 48. Property of Bionchess Pharma, work order. Just send it next to Perian Sada Ruslog Alkrai, then go straight to in, in processing. Speak with Antin. By a choice. Uh, sorry, I made a mess in there. Go clean it up. What did you find out? Give the literary the, the pen. Ah, this pen says the bodies were owned by a farmer. How the hell can they own a corpse? What the hell is Ovidium? 
also says said clothes were to be delivered to the biochoice pharma facility. That's a very nice trip. You're gonna have to check it out. What the hell do those ghoulish assholes want with corpses? Go have a look, will you? No corpse, no pay. Okay. The subway is straight down. I think. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know where things are on this map. Okay, I'm on the wrong level. to use the metro night road to buy a choice farmer. There's loot Locked eye still <laughs> Access the in-processing area server So don't fight. But I'm going through here. Whether you like it or not. Purchase from server data accessing search network, state inventory query item, Dina Faso. Inventory query item, Dina Faso, searching. Corpse sent to extraction area, timestamps 00203413. Unlock door access to extraction area. Yes. Search for Nina's corpse in the extraction area. Get rid of annoying guy who's standing there. Item ideas have now been linked to our database, and we will be immediately notified upon death. This should eliminate all erroneous item retrievals. How did you get in? That's a rocket. Get to know it. Buyer choice, farm extraction data, accessing search, state, inventory query item, and Dina Fossil. Corpse recycled following successful extraction of Vidium 348, timestamp 00204414. Great. Now what? Your image just sent words, so the assholes recycled and Dina find something and something. 
call Antin. Isn't that what I just did? <laughs> Better talk over a secure line. Bet that place is bristling with scanners and bugs and shit. So what the F is Ovidium 348? They sucked it out of her like she's some sort of fermented sauce keg. How did she get in get it in the first place? I bet it's connected to that SO soda they make. And Dina couldn't stop drinking that crap. But where did they get that Ovidium from in the first place? I want answers. Hook me up through your aim so I can check the server data for myself. I want it unfiltered. And get me some Ovidium too. Fine. Nag nag nag. We're testing a new formula for the ingestible. An updated recipe has been sent to the feral manufacturing plant. What? That's one of two. Oh, alien sample. We have evidence. Debrief and teen. We are shifting focus to gestating items. These are synthesizing unusual amounts of Ovidium 348, possibly related to hormonal changes during the pregnancies. What the hell are you guys doing? Strange dolls. Oh, use the phone, of course. You found both logs and an actual sample. Upload me those logs. Alright, well, let's see what those bastards were up to. You won't believe this. That asshole alien you wasted was sliming out low grade of vidium somehow. And these assholes discovered that it could be refined in warm bodies. F knows how they found that out. So they started adding it to the feral soda. And they kept dibs on big drinkers like Payondina. She was an effing brewing vat to them. The process killed her and they just sucked the high grade of vidium out of her body. And then they make big bucks from shipping the 348 off planet. Those assholes. I'm gonna expose the bastards. Shut the deranged operation down for good. Everyone's gonna know what Feral does to them. Bring me that sample. It's still at the serenity. It's still at serenity. We'll bust this scam wide open. I want this. Ha! Our current contracts with the morgues have been voided. Renegotiations are underway. In the meantime, item retrieval is, at, is to proceed as usual. Okay, let's get out of here. Are those tracking plasma guns? wants to party. Suck for trousers. Mm, yeah, I don't like it.
return to Antine. First, we do the main mission. Locate Kodo's Cove. Oh, hi. Look, security mech, can you do anything? Oh, it's chasing me. Great. I want this. Then I need some health. That's what I get. Oh my god. Flatline of combat hood. What's that? I think I've seen it. Hmm, nah. Or maybe. Let's try it. I'm not really aiming a lot with this this thing anyway. Not the civvies. I still. Mm. Fine. So what's a hexor? Like so. No label basic like protection. Hmm. Seriously, what did I do? Oh my god, that, how the hell are you in here? How the hell are you in here? Okay, Kodos Cove. Okay, I'm doing it.
Flatline of combat hood. Yeah. What's well, full cycle? Gonna meet my gun. <laughs> my gun's nastier than your gun. I'm stuck again. Where am I going? Look at the Kodos Cove. Wait, am I doing that or am I doing that? Pet bots. More pet bots. I want some pet bots. I see loot. Okay. It's not here. Hey, maybe you can help us out here, make a little money for yourself, laxly at your service. But I have pick up a little tech on the side. How about it, wanna pitch? Perfect. I knew you were a real machine head, first time I saw you. I knew you couldn't resist the taste of some new cyber. 
So here's the deal. We can't run our shit here unless we get the right people, r see? The right crew behind the scenes. We like the Carlins because, well, they work real hard and they don't complain a whole lot. I'm not saying it's good or it's bad, it's just what it is. You get me? So there's this camp on an upper tier. Got a whole lot of Carlins in there. I mean, they're practically slaves. If you were to um, liberate them, well, we could get them into some good and proper work over here. They work, we make money, they get paid. Everybody wins. This camp they're at, it's in the Scrapland. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's supposedly abandoned behind a node. Head on over there and take out our security. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Get that handled and we'll, we'll round up all the Carlins, no problem. Make this happen and I'll let you get your hands on some of the finest engineering 8 Co has to offer. I'm telling you, this is good shit here. The best. Some real high end, end cyber. You're not gonna wanna miss out. Okay, so that was another side mission. But right now, we're focusing on the main mission. Laxley. Laxley, the Jocelyn Foreman, is not a nice guy. Like a lot of bosses, he'd like you to think he's a nice guy, but the reality is that his mind is an abacus. His heart a shriveled up prune, and his soul, well, the less said about that, well, well of utter emptiness, the better. He might not possess the personality of a warrior poet, but Laxley's carefully calculated demeanor does make for a fine businessman with the foresight and ability to see the very best in others, and exploit the ever-loving shit out of it. Which leads us to the current objective, maximizing profits. And the current outlook, why do, why do the work when you can get others to do it for you? And the proposed solution, so these Carlins really like to work hard, eh? You should be able to solve the rest of that particular equation yourself. Stack Boss Poon is a cardiac collapse waiting to happen. He rules Cluster 13 as Stack Manager and Tenant Overlord. Rough and gruff, he lives in a state of constant irritation and displeasure. Having spent untold standards making underhand deals, he is an expert manipulator, though his usual approach is just to bully his way forward. Black Lake Towers. Black Lake, or B Stack, was never properly finished before catastrophe struck. Built in the same vein as A Stack, B Stack was zoned as a residential and partly commercial area, but when the external contracting firm hired to do the work ended up in a bitter financial dispute with the Ascent Group, construction was temporarily put on halt. In the meantime, hapless indents, vagrants, lesser gangs, and other undesirables quickly took up residence in the partly finished HAB units. Inter-gang rivalry resulted in constant fighting and corpse sack. Having no financial interest in maintaining order in the area stayed away. The financial dispute ended up ended with a sudden assimilation and dissolution of the construction firm by the Ascent Group, but Peace Tank remained unfinished and infested with crime. A drastic solution was suggested and enacted, to flood the entire area to flush out the squatters and clean out the filth. It is unclear what went wrong, but some suspect a virus created by the construction firm SI before it was shut down. Regardless, the flooding was a bit too successful, to the point that the drainage systems collapsed, allowing cast pools to form, and putting several levels of B-Stack under water. By now, the cost projections had shot through the roof, and instead of trying to drain and finish B-Stack, the Ascent Group discarded it as a loss. It has been officially abandoned ever since. Uh-huh. Well, if we're doing ferals, we should switch to this. So who are these guys? Great, everything's underwater.
Why are you running away from me? Let's see how the rocket launcher works against barrels. Coder's Cove. A secret hideout set up in a flooded black lake district, Coder's Cove houses many skilled hackers many of whom are in high demand. They have thoroughly infiltrated all local security and telemetry systems to hide their presence, while protecting them against potential enemies. INCON is short for Independent Contractor. These are free laborers, not bound by indentured contracts, and available to take on work with any given multicorps. They are also free to travel across the dusk, though some many areas still require special permits. Most indents aspire to one day earning the independent contractor status. Let's pick with Noghead. All my friends thought I was crazy coming on down there, coming to get away from it all, live off the grid. I was a little trepidatious myself at first, gotta say. It was a big step giving up the old life. But now I look back at all my at all my old friends and it's like, how can you live up there? How can you be a slave? A life as an indentured corporate servant, all just to pay off your travel loan. Well, F that. Here maybe you give up a few conveniences, sure, but in the end, for absolute freedom, it's worth it, isn't it? Because that's how coders work. <laughs> What's with all the loot around here? You know who to spot a real cowboy? Like a real hot console jockey? Check the deck, see if the label's been filed off. No label means custom work, slicker than black eyes. We do that down here, custom shit. You wanna get serious about your internet running? You come see me. We'll set you off with something real nice. No fear, hit the net, you'll be like a ghost. Isn't that what we all aspire to be? Yeah, sure. Not now, I've almost cracked the distributed cognition. Whoa! Where did you come from? No, wait, who the hell are you? How can you speak English with a mouth like that? And how did you find us? This is supposed to be a secret hideout! I knew I should have gotten those turrets online long ago. Then, you'd be a red smear on the floor. Never. No. On secrecy alone! And again, I'm obviously still alive, so what do you want? Why are you here? Hoon sent you! Yeah, I know that faithless cred stacker all too well. What does he need? Yeah, without those havers, you're in deep trouble. I got two Nestkin in 13. Poon must know that. The faster. Alright, I'll help. But this is not for Poon. What do you need? Security access? Yeah, I'm already logged on to the surveillance server. Let's have a look see. Seems a whole bunch of invalid tags passed a scan gate at the Cosmodrome a few sub cycles ago. The biometrics match your habers, but. But. So I can't say where your habers are now. If Obi took them, you're gonna have to ask them why yourself. They've requisitioned an old Hydracat branch office up by the node, way above where we're at now. A whole other tier. Anything else? Neskin? I won't bore you with the quiche reproduction process, okay? Neskin are like sapien DNA relatives. Sort of. Here? Well, I've gathered some premium net jockeys here for a little project. We were supposed to be hidden here. I wonder how Poon got his into Name? Call me Noghead. My real name doesn't translate well. Onyx Void? I know everybody treats OV like the big scary boogeyman, but they're just doing business like everyone else. They could be talked to, just don't threaten them. Look, you'll probably need my help again before this is over. 
I passed your imp into my comms. Ping if you need me. And just to be clear, I'm doing this for Cluster 13, and Poon will owe me when we're done. Oh, and I bumped up your permissions with the Arcology reg, so you can access the node. Moving up in the world! Right. Net Sage. A skilled cyber jockey, hacker, etc. Anyone adept at manipulating the data net to their needs. Lohab, a slang for lower level habitation stack. The often squalid living quarters housing millions of walkers on the lower levels of an ecology or the city at large. Life in the Lohabs is tough and while not outright lawless, anyone straying into these areas should be able to handle themselves in a fight. Yeah, you're gonna give me something? Faraday Skull Bucket? It's nice. It's nice. I'll take it. Gunsmith. Let me show you the beauty of Kalan Engineering. Don't have any weapon skins. My dread. No none of components. My RPG to mark four. Okay, maybe the SCF Heat? Yeah, upgrade that one. I think the Heat is a better one. Than the Sculpture. Yeah, I'll keep the Heat. Cyber Vendor. Tacticals. Frag grenade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the frag grenade. Before I will sell you volatile. I'll think about it. Uh, this can go. Sell you the shot. Actually, I'll keep them both for a bit. I'll give you all but one protector, I'll give you the right gun and the Scorcher. And the Dread. And I really should load that second augmentation. Sends out a cloud of charged nanites which will rapidly just stay inside your enemy and cause them to burst as they die. Give me that in slot 1, give me this in slot 2. Oh, loot. Hello, Ice Pick. Ice pick. Can crack chest of ice one and doors of ice one. Reach Arcology High Street Tier. 
First travel with taxi. You can quickly and conveniently travel around the world using the premium taxi services. Call for taxi at almost any comp moment. A ride costs money but will get you to where you want to go. Unlock new destinations by exploring the world. This is Black Lake. Metro Loot. They want me to go to the Warrens. Anything else around Black Lake or the Night Road? Yeah, he wants me to plant bacteria. Okay, let's do that. Nasty. Love it. Six points. I want... I think I want more energy. And I want more... Balance... More well, weapon handling. Yeah, more weapon handling. The data net. The one thing uniting Velus across all corporate borders is the massive, all encompassing data net. Valesians sometimes call it the Tango because of its intrinsically complex nature, so layered and elaborate that not even the AGIs have been able to map all its odds and ends. The net grew together with the dusk in fits and spasms as each corporation expanded their own intranets and began connecting them. Private citizens further added to it by setting up their own servers and networks, and piggybacking on the whole thing is the underweb, maintained by the crime syndicates for their nefarious dealings. There are many ways to access the net, but for anything private, most sentients prefer a wired connection, as a wireless can too easily be hacked and manipulated. Wireless is still used for remote drone controls and the like, but any operator worth her salt has multiple contingency plans in case of unwanted intrusions. For the same reason, few but most skilled hackers use direct cerebral link interfaces in order to avoid the risks of malicious code directly entering the brainstem. Instead, they use different kinds of helmets, glasses, monocles, and other similar devices to jack in. The net is also the realm of the AIs, from the limited monotasking of algorithms who roam around freely to the massive hyper-intelligent AGIs of efferent design, of which there are only a few known to exist, tightly controlled and regulated, or so it is believed. Locked Ice One. No problem. So where do you want it? There's more. Fantastic, amazing, well done. Now we just need to wait for the bacteria to grow. I will inform you when the time comes to harvest the experiment. Exciting! Wait for the bacteria to grow. Don't need to wait right now. Like, hurry up and wait. The bacteria has been has now been all planted, I can leave it for a good while so it can mature. 
Because we'll get in touch when it's, when it's harvest time. That's in the node. That's... Uh, anywhere. Kill enemies using stasis overcharge. How do I do that? Turn to Antine Liberation Operation. That's in the node. Silicon optics is in the umbilical. That's really high up. Let's go with Antine for now. And let's see how much a taxi costs me. Mine cost 1000. Sure. It's nice that I can just activate fast travel, even if it costs me money. How do I get that loot? Did you Everyone know how I am? Well, the creditors are after my ass. My partner just left me and I'm considering drinking myself to death. Good luck with that. Come on! Fine. What's Coco? Oh, it's you. Yeah, well, there won't be any next steps. Can't talk about it. I still need that sample, though. I transferred your pay, and I added something to match the extra mile you went. I know, I Well, this is all really for the best. It's what Undina would have wanted for me. Time to move on. Notification of how much. Thank you. 45,000 XP. Mission reward. Okay, he wants me to go to the high place. I want the Anabolic Express. Let's go bolt deep first. Go back to the deep stink. But I can't just couldn't have used the balls of the fellows I already killed. Snack Master, why can't you tell me what I'm getting from it? Why do you expect me to remember everything?
Stop in 24-7, special deal! Deep stink. Yeah, we're going to the deep stink. This vertical transport hub doubles as the Arcology garbage disposal. An estimated 300 tons of unfiltered waste is thrown into the pit every day. Collect feral testicles. Sure. enough no doing wrong How many more do I have to kill?
all the ferals. Come and get me. Loot. Weapon skin police. Sorry, got a little excited. Done. One more. The Ender Jones. <clears throat> A shot skin pink. Going towards the loot.
Am I done now? No. Oh, you're pointing me. Got it, finally. Now get me out of here. Before we return to Hans, actually, let's get back to the to the node, and then we'll see. Okay. the hell out of here don't want to ever come back I'm gonna go back to Hans just yet. And he wants me to go to the node. So let's go to the node. Okay. Flatline of combat hood. No, just the assholes. So you get it and shoot them. Perfectionist kind of yes. Ah. 
that it just happened after a little while. Look how you ruined everything for everybody. You should stop being dicks. High Street. High Street. Ooh, one level up. Okay. The node. Who here? Did you find him? Is he gonna help? I'm getting a fucking ass rash from sitting around and waiting here. Sit around and wait. I have weapon skins. Yeah, whatever. Uh, dread or rocket launcher? I'm thinking dread. Oh, now I need level two components. Weapons. There's a reason. Goliath. Ballistic hand cannon. Yeah, the defenders. You're not gonna give me anything good. And I can't switch weapons again. Perfectionists, machinists, and tiny eco. Uh, it's, it's the cost of a taxi ride. Let's see. Biometric timestamp records your vitals for restoration after a short amount of time. You can shrug off recent injuries as if they never happened. What? What? Not sure I get it. Okay, sell this. Sell. Uh. Huh. Huh. Hang on a moment.
Internal. Yeah, give me that. Real white pants. Tactical, I'm keeping. Everything else, I'm keeping. What's new? Nothing. So nothing. Crafting. Looks basically the same. Lutin and hyperfocus. What is surgery? Okay. What can I do here? These cost skill points. Give me more evasion. Reset skills. They're not gonna give me any modules. Biology. To <laughs> change biology. Tough pattern. Pink. Or send those. I'll stick with Decky. Hmm. Okay, got it. What's that over there? Shop? Just shop? Dash up aesthetics, cyber vendor. Yeah, but they sell stuff like that. What's the difference except coolness? I want this. Give me this. Put enemies into stasis state by using certain augmentation abilities or tactical gear. Once in stasis, they take additional damage that will all come at once when the effect is over. If you manage to accumulate enough damage, the target will overcharge and explode, causing massive damage. Okay, let's try that. There's definitely a lot of walking. The Glut has become the common name for an area in the arcology with few defining features, mostly functioning as a traversal zone, few habits even linger here, or if they do, they're often up to no good. Any commercial ventures trying to luck here are usually short-lived, either due to a lack of customers or a lack of enough protection to hold up against repeated robbery attempts, sometimes within the same cycle. Corpsec could maybe patrol the area if they cared, which they don't. Nobody cares about the Glut. Known by the Havers as High Street, this is the primary corporate, commercial and shipping center in the arcology. Here the local but vastly influential Rosian Association holds sway and the garishly clad enforcers can be found prowling 
we'll have the neon lights don't fully reach. Squeezed as it is, smack in the middle of the arcology, High Street does suffer from a bit of an identity crisis. The indents there rarely refer to themselves as such, so as not to get confused with the low have scum below, but at the same time they enjoy few, if any, of the benefits of those lucky individuals making their abode on the higher levels. Many hide behind thick layers of snobbery and arrogance, but in reality they are as much beholden to their contracts as their lower level brethren. Oopsick. I sport is a multi stellar syndicate, and we're horny and spurring to them. I'd love to know his pain. Um, well, no, oh, that's an elevator. Okay. <sighs> I think those shields mean anything. Okay, next.
Is, is this an elevator? Yeah. But what's this? Hello. Hey, you there. You seem like you can hold your own. Mind pitching in for a sec? We could really use the help. Perfect! Here's what's going on. We actually have a prison break in progress in the glut. Yeah, that's right. The inmates are getting all uppity, and they finally found a way out. A few has already gotten out, but it could be many, many more. We gotta stop them, of course, but here's the catch. They've got access to a big old effing mech. Shouldn't be too much to handle for a tough guy like you though, no? So yeah, we need you to head to the prison and stop the breakouts. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while, big time. That is, assuming you manage to get back here in one piece. Alex. Alex is your typical Corsac officer trapped in a not-so-typical situation. He is a mercenary who hasn't gotten paid for of late, and to add to his woes, poor Alex decided to do the right thing, observe his oath and stay on his post while his colleagues vacated the area. Alex sure is regretting his choice now, but there is no paycheck in sight, and to make matters worse, he's also dealing with a sudden prison break. How about you do the right thing too and help the poor man out? Antti recently lost the body of his kin, Undina, in what appears to be some sort of secret corpse-snatching operation. He claims to mourn her excessively, but whether he actually misses her or the Q-Cres he was supposed to receive from her life insurance payout remains unclear. I wish there was an option in the map, for example, to just tell it, give me the closest waypoint I could access from any given location. So I won't have to search through the mission list. But I like deals. What deck? Oh. Cheap weapons. What's this? That's a big guy. Onyx Void HQ. Well, hello, nurse. Picked on any killer bounties lately? Heard, all ab heard tell about this one guy, so effing far gone, so effing out there, you can only actually tack him down in the snooze world. <laughs> Like in some kind of parallel effing dimension or something. Can you believe it? And here's the craziest part. When you find him, apparently he shows up like this effing cuddly white rabbit or some shit. Man, I wouldn't know whether to pet him or put him down. Okay. Let's find the quest giver. Hey, hey, you the good Samaritan type, care to lend a hand? I realize this is regular, but I could really use a favor, and you got an honest face, sort of. 
How about it? Yeah, great. So we just came in from Hiram of world, got started last cycle, and of course the knobhead at Karma lost my effing luggage. I'll get it back myself, it's just, well, I got sort of carried away with one of the Karma reps. They got all those now to shoot me on sight, but I'm sure they'd let a pleasant looking fellow like yourself rummage around a bit. If you can find it, I'll make it worth your while. Should be somewhere over at Sam's Gate. It's a yellow U plus bag with a Nug Lover sticker on it. Don't ask. I'm well, that I saw all the unclaimed luggage lying around in piles, so you'll probably have to rummage around some to find it. I gotta be elsewhere, so give the bag to Taka at Dream World. My girl, she'll pay you. Thanks, pal. Yay! Well, didn't see you there. You're not Trojan, are you? Ugh, I need to keep better watch. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a bind. The Rojan want my ears, preferably detached on my head. I owe them some Euclid. Quite a lot of Euclid, actually, but you might be just what I need. A complete unknown. Care to help a fellow out? I'm UB. Perfect. There's no personal danger to you, so you and you'll be compensated, of course. So I got a bit of a gambling problem. It's the speed crush track for me. Just love watching those parts zipping by, spewing mayhem. But I ain't been very lucky lately, and now my credit's all used up. The Rojin intend to take payment in flesh. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna race. The annual free-for-all is coming up, and I'm gonna win it all. Pay off my debts. Can't ice for shit though. Never actually been in the pod, and that's where you come in. I made these EMP actuators. They're small, so they can be attached to a race pod. You guessed right, I need you to slap them onto the paws of other contestants. Never race fell. Of course. You be. You be? You be. Gaditer. You be is an in. Con Carlin obsessed with speed crush and racing in general. He's also an accomplished inventor who managed to secure his Incon status after many standards spent as, at an 8 core factory. He specializes in electromagnetic field and force projections. Raphael, a somewhat shady individual of unknown origins, claims to have recently arrived from Hiram, but seems to know his way around the ecology quite well for an off -worlder. Noghead. Restless hacker, usually low-key and emotionally stable for a quiche, which is a true asset in his line of business. Like an overclocked CPU, he is quick but precise. Like the binary systems he constantly interfaces with, never still, always thinking, always computing, and a powerful ally to have. Yeah, I actually like him. What an effing mess. I run a clean kitchen, I swear. The stinking puke fest is none on me. This is a first-rate establishment. I use only the choicest ingredients. But I gotta live too, right? These are trying times. Hey, you look like a proper flatliner. I got a score I want settled. Maybe you can settle it for me. Yeah, great. Here's the score. My usual meat supplier comes to me and says he's got a shut down, had his entire stock eaten by ferals. No clue where they came from. Next thing I know, this new guy named Flavus shows up, some swaggering chachlin I've never seen before, says he's got fresh meat to sell. And it's seller's market, right? What choice do I have? So I put in an order, and you can see where that got me. Now I have the freezer full of spoiled meat and pigeons puking outside. I'm so effed. That swindling rectal head should get what's coming to him. You go pay him my respects and I'll make sure you never go hungry again. He runs his shifty outfit from the basement of Meat Face and Corpse Zone. Let me know when it's done. I got this entry hack from Data Broker in the glut. Don't have the guts to try it myself, but it should get you inside. Exotic dinner. Francone. 
Francon was a born entrepreneur who recently opened up his first eatery, hoping it would grow big enough to become a franchise, but he's been having supply problems lately, and his guests all seem to suffer from acute regurgitation syndrome after eating his lunch special. Hans, an enthusiastic pharmacist and hobby scientist, Hans specializes in creating his own remedies for an assortment of issues. His most successful product to date is the Ramrod Balm, especially popular among chocolates. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Oh, you're here for the stuff. Well, shit, about time you come on by. I've been holding this Swiss for ages. Now you be careful with this shit. What's my word? This is grade A nuclear level Royce we're talking about here. Might be a little intense for some. But hey, what do you do with it? How much you use or don't use? None of my business. Anyway, here you go. Now get the F out of here. Now. Okay. Merl is not exactly a people person, which is odd considering that his whole side hustle dealing steroids and other stims forces him into contact with people on a fairly regular basis. But oh well, what are you gonna do? The dealer may suck, but sometimes it's worth putting up with a lot of shit if the shit is gold, which Merl most certainly is. So just get in and get out, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Humidore. Having dedicated his life to a moisture, algae, and bacteria, Dr. Humidore is a true expert in his sudden, sudden field. His paper on accelerated mycobacteria growth in a simulated Larkin scrotum environment gained some traction with the scientific community, but few of his colleagues have since been able to replicate the astonishing results. Some time ago, Humidore was forcefully ejected from the Malhost Gelbach colony after having caused an unchecked outbreak of flesh-eating fungi on one of the low hab levels. He has since taken a residence in the Ascent Group Arcology, where he continues to pursue his dank possessions. Passions. Okay. Anything else to do in the node? Okay. No weapons. I'm 438 Hung, and you're in a timer. Attack to meet him. I have no idea what you're jabbering about, but that ugly speech hole of yours would be much improved by staying closed. So you've lost a few habbers. How does this concern Onyx Void exactly? You're yeah, responsible? Careful where you point those <coughs> in But as it happens, you're in luck. I know where your precious habbers are, but there's an inquiry fee. What? Then I have a proposal. <coughs> Do a small job for me, and you'll get the information in return. What job? One of my operatives is being held by the Rojin. Of course not. He spoiled goods. Flatline both him and the Rojin holding him. Uh, you don't want him back. Onyx Void always cleans up. The operative is presently being entertained at the Rojin Oyabun's penthouse in the top of the East Gemini Tower. Expect a warm reception. I want my operative's tag as proof of the termination. Do not fail me. Onyx Void always cleans up. Except some, except you get me to do the cleanup for you. What else you got here? Oh, 
You know the phrase of blood thicker than water? Well, it's actually the blood of the conv a convent is thicker than the water of the womb. Means your family isn't what you were born into, it's your comrades in arms. Your family is who you say it is. So watch your step around here. Because we're all family in these parts and you most certainly are not. Fine. I'm leaving. Kill Onyx Void Operative. Which is well. Why is a robot walking around with an umbrella? If you aggro Onyx Void on us, I'm gonna hang you out to dry. Gotta protect the culture. You understand, I'm sure. Germany stacks. When the ecology was first built, there was much enthusiasm surrounding this enormous undertaking. Architects from across the common flocked to Valus, eager to make their mark on this latest gigastructure. The Ascent Group had held architectural contests to encourage participation and minimize prospecting costs. The Gemini Stacks are the result of one such contest. Many Rogin inhabit the Gemini Stacks in the area has a reputation for affluence and main corpses. Once a customer facing Hydro Cat facility, this interesting structure now houses the local headquarters of Onyx Void. A few unwary havers made jokes about the chosen location when OV first set up shop, but the jokes soon died after they all lost their vocal organs in strange and violent accidents. In the surrounding neighborhood, the expression, cat got your tongue, has since acquired a whole new meaning. Funny. I need an elevator. Um, hi. You can't have it. Well, you can't either. Onyx Void Operative Terminated Most CGTs rank above regular mercs when it comes to skills and combat abilities, but Onyx Void Operatives rank above more or less everybody else. This multi-stellar syndicate allows only the cream of the killer crop into its exclusive ranks of merciless flatliners. Their complete lack of conscience and utter obedience to their contract, once entered, make them into some of the most fearful enemies out there, further exacerbated by their state-of-the-art weapons and equipment. Brawn over brain, as everyone knows, a Larkian with a power hammer can easily destroy an entire hab, should they want to, and they often want to, because what else is there to do? White swings, ground slams, and charging tackles makes the hammerhead an enemy best dealt with at a safe distance, though they'll close that distance fast if you're not careful. Staggering them is an effective way of keeping them in place. Hmm. Useful information for once. Nothing else of interest here. Nice retro design.
I probably had all those tell me for some drinks. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, later. You return, and I see you brought the tag. I did not expect you to live. This is mildly impressive. The Malhorse Gel Corporation has your indents. The carrier they're holding them on is scheduled for departure in a few cycles. Check the Cosmodrome. Since MG Corp are in breach, they are no longer enjoying our protection. Okay. Navigation. The Cosmodrome can be reached by the northwest exit. The Cosmodrome. Oh, that's me. What was the mission? Over there. Northwest exit. Anything in the glut or Germany stacks? What is this? Scrapland? Not on this level, I guess. Uh, that looks like it's something. Sam's Gate. Okay, let's check it out. Gregory's hardware. Just passing through. What? What the hell? Do I need to call the elevator? What's wrong? Hello? Oh, no, it accepts Mark 5 schematics. Oh, okay. It's in jackpot. Right, like, he even stiffed him on the pay and he didn't care, they just loved to tinker. Um, what am I doing then? Maybe Scrapland is locked at the moment. Lost and found is over there. Prison break is over there. Dream World.
Wait, where's my marker? <sighs> Why isn't the marker also on the map where I'm looking? What? Where is it? Oh, I need, I need to head down. Yeah, I need to head down. Okay, okay. This should be more obvious. A component. Okay. I just love it where enemies are where I can't see them. Another enemy by overcharging an enemy while in, in stasis. That's nasty. this I also love it when camera changes makes me miss my targets
siege mech. Wuyun siege mechs are made for large scale battles, industrial warfare, and open sieges where collateral damage is a non issue. Armed with missiles and miniguns, they can lay down heavy barrages and their overwhelming size belie an impressive movement speed. Don't count on them being slow, and wherever they pass, the ground breaks beneath them. Rogians. The Rogian have a code of honor which they adhere to rigorously, and they can be all too easy to offend. If you do, you can count on intense fight involving everything from rifles to keen edged oni katanas. Money! Okay, the deed is done. I might kill a few more inmates, if you don't mind. <laughs> 